Why is Debo Samuel requesting a trade? Lay it out for people who just tuned in. All right, so Debo Samuel, and this is part of the reason why I thought the negotiations would be tricky and difficult and why I could even see why the relationship between the two would get strained had the negotiation had gone far. And it's because of his wide back usage, running yes. back usage. Of yes. course, the 49ers are going to try to push for that lower number. They're going to look for the cheap route no matter what, the bargain deal, the discount. I mean, don't we all look for the discounts? I mean, I'm, every, every week I go on Adidas to see if I'm getting a discount. But, I mean, for the 49ers looking at Debo Samuel, like, great. You're a wide receiver who, who your real impact was running back. I mean, I said it before. The 49ers, his first week of – I mean, his first half of 2021, wide receiver usage, he was knocking on the door of 1,000 receiving yards, but they were but losing they were games. losing. They were losing, yeah. All of a sudden, you make the switch to running back, your real yeah. value, Debo. Yeah. And we skyrocketed to the freaking NFC Championship. Right. Coincidence? No. Because you, your true value is as a running back. Great, you can play both, but ultimately that's well, where our money is going to lie to you. His value to the 49ers is pretty clear. Like they could they could use him as like the way the Rams use Cooper Cup, but they don't win that way. Nope. They don't win that way. So I mean, really his value is like winning. Derrick Henry or Christian McCaffrey, and that's great. But what happens when he gets hurt next year playing running back? Like all – Derrick Henry got hurt. So Debo's not in a year or two? I mean, I guess that's where the Niners are coming from here. And from Debo's perspective, also like, hey, I, I played running back in a pinch because Raheem Mostert got hurt and you guys needed me to, okay? If Mostert were healthy, maybe we would have won while I was on that record-setting pace as a wide receiver. So don't just say I'm the running back now. Either get a running back or trade me because I don't want to do that long-term. I'd like to make, you know, $150 million in my career, not 20 in and out. Like, I'm just, I mean, that's probably where he's coming from. Yeah, and when you think you're coming from, you you would think, hey, I'm versatile. I, I should be worth more. Not only should I right. be top running back, but top wide receiver money. I mean, if I'm you're paying me top wide receiver money, at least you know, hey, not only is, can we use him as a wide receiver, top notch one, we can kick him a running back for whenever we need to. And suddenly, boom, now we have a new dynamic in the offense. And then maybe you think, hey, with Trey Lance, now we got read options. We got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of new dynamics to add to really put the defense on their heels, but. No, Debo, I don't blame in this situation. Like, I understand running back is not a longevity position. Wide receiver is, I mean, you, you think about wide receivers, how many wide receivers actually get injured? You know, I mean, yeah. get, there's not, they're not getting hit. I mean, non-contact might be the most susceptible, if anything. Um, and they just get paid more. It makes more sense. It's It makes more sense for his moneymaker. You know, that's what he wants. Remember a few weeks ago when this all started, Debo Samuel took uh, the pictures down on his Instagram. And people were like, man, that's nothing. He was just out at dinner with John and Kyle. It must be cool, right? Okay, so what happened at that dinner? I'm guessing Debo made his concerns. He voiced them. I don't want to play running back anymore, if that's the issue, which is what Ian Rappaport is saying, usage. I don't want to play running back anymore. I did it for you. You're using it against me in negotiations. It's only going to lower my value, and, and it's going to uh, reduce my you know longevity. It's over. And Kyle was like, not on this team. On this team, you're going to play running back. You're going to play, you're going to, you're going to do what I say. How about that? You're going to say, yes, Kyle. Yes, Kyle. And Debo was like, no, Kyle. That's my guess. Is that Debo said, I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. And Kyle's like, for real? Is that is that the case? I think you are. And Debo's like, no, I'm 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 out. I don't think the Niners thought that he would take it this far. Yeah, because definitely you go on those dinners. Some some trade talk. I mean, trade talks. Contract negotiation talks is getting brought up. It's not just like, "Hey, Kyle, how you doing?" Has the fam. I mean, I'm sure that happened, but ultimately, like, all right, Kyle, you know, we're gonna start these negotiations soon. John, what are you thinking? What are my uses in the future? And that's why that's why I think you're totally right on this one. That's where he probably hints, like, "Yeah, like, probably not as much as running back. But we're still gonna use you there. We're still gonna use you there." Because I mean, look, yeah. you're so much of a weapon. What, what am I gonna have a Ferrari in the driveway and not drive it? Uh -huh. Like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have a gun and not go to the shooting range? Come on. What, what am I gonna do? I'm have these you're our best run? running back. You have her seven yards to carry. What are you talking about? How can I? How can I not? And here's the thing. Say some team trades for him. They're not gonna want to use him like a running back sometimes, really, because he's the best weapon in the league that way. Are you telling me the Jets or whatever team? That wants him is going to be like, we're not going to use D-ball running back. Oh, word? Then lose. <laughs> then lose. I, it seems strange. It seems like D-ball, you may not want to do it, but no matter what team you're playing for, you're probably going to have to play running back. I'm guessing. You know Sometimes. what I'm curious about, actually, Grant? If it's like, if he really doesn't want to be used that way, um, 
what if all of a sudden the Niners do say, you know what, we'll make you the highest paid wide receiver. More than Devontae Adams, Tyree Kill, the actual real proven elite receivers who have done it for years. Yes. You've only done it for one year, one and a half, I guess, 2019. Yes. Um, but now you can't, now you got to just, don't, don't butt back. You're going to be our running back too. You're going to do both. You think even then you'd still say, nah, son, I'm good. I just want to be a wide receiver. You want, you're going to pay me that top amount. Because I think, I wonder if wherever he gets traded to, like you said, we're still going to, hey, say Jets, Jets to Debo, you're still going to be a running back, but we're going to pay you top dollar. All of a sudden he's going to say yes. I wonder if it's because he does surmise that he knows he's not going to be paid the top or even one of the top dollars why he's pushing back on. All right, if that's the case, don't worry about me being running back. Well, if the market isn't there for him or he wants it, the Niners shouldn't trip. They, I mean, you don't have to trade him. If 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 there were three other teams that were dying to give him thirty million guaranteed or whatever, thirty million a year, then maybe the Niners are like, well, maybe maybe the market dictates we gotta trade him and let him get what he wants. But it sounds like he's asking for something that's not out there for him, and now he's throwing a fit. F- fine. Um, the Niners don't have to freaking trade him. You don't have to like call his bluff. Make him hold out. It's expensive. I don't think he will. It'll cost him millions of dollars. Yep. I mean. Just keep putting out there in the press. We're trying to trade him. We want to give him what's fair. We want him. He's great. He's our offense. And let him look bad. That seems to be the only thing you can do. You don't just trade him for freaking a couple of first round picks and be like, well, one of these guys might, he's not going to be as good as Debo. He's not. I guarantee it. No. Tyreek for Debo. (laughs) Oh God. Uh, Yeah. Tyreek, you were on the team for two seconds. Now you're gone. I like that. Um, Probably not. That John Lynch pressure is going to be a, (laughs) <laughs> yes it will it's oh my god isn't be- that four days oh yeah uh nespel the first says maybe both first from the chiefs they need a wide receiver and they need a guy like like debo they just traded tyree like, kill. They, why they they can't, yeah they can't afford him though they can't that's why they traded tyree kill what's quality controls advice in the situation don't trade well we'll talk about it we'll talk about potential before i say don't trade debo let's talk about what they might be able to get for debo before i just say that you know what i'm saying <laughs> Sway says, uh, trade Debo for a third for Texans third overall, then trade back to get Traylon Burks or Sauce Gardner in the first round. Interesting suggestion. We'll keep it in mind when we get there, which is coming up next. Brady Hill says, I see Debo in a Jets jersey. Wow. I can see that too. East Bay Chris says, stop giving the Niners the benefit of the doubt, Grant. They don't deserve it. I'm Team Debo and believe Parag lowballed him and it bit them in the ass. Yeah. I think that's probably true. Could have. I think that's probably happen. true. But it's like at the same time, like, the Niners are going to come in real low. Debo is going to come in real high. I think it's just kind of amazing that Debo would be like, this isn't going anywhere. It's over. Oh, immediately. Actually, I think you probably would have got it if you waited. They're just kind of like, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I hear, I'm with you, East Bay, Chris. And again, if the, Niners, if the Niners trade Debo for picks, I am not, I'm going to blast him with, with pleasure. It seems like you, you just because Debo is asking for a trade here doesn't mean you have to do it. This, you could keep them. You could work it out. Uh, I like what you're saying. I'm not giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm just so surprised that Debo requested a trade this quickly. Like, really? And he said he halted negotiations? Did the Niners – and the Niners are th- having to go to Schefter and be like, we want to offer more. Wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> you were just kidding. Damage control. <laughs> Don't pay us like the bad know, guy. Man. It's not us. We're Gucci. It's him. Blame him. That's what they're trying to say. I, I have no idea. I guess we'll never know what that – how how insulting that first off. I guarantee you they knew he was going to request a trade and was going to go out there. That's why they had Schefter say that. They knew again, he was going to end up if, saying it. If, if it's been reported by, by Rappaport that the issue is usage and Debo liked the tweet, is there anything the Niners could do to, 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 to salvage this save saying, all right, we won't play running back anymore? That's my question. I don't know. I guess we'll have to ask John Lynch. Yeah. If the issue is money, that's the Niners' fault. If the issue is usage, would you want Debo if you weren't allowed to play running back ever? I'd like to know a little bit more about where Debo's coming from on that one. What is the issue here if it's just usage? Because ah, I'm a little on Kyle's side on that one. It's like, man, what? We tried using you like that in the first eight weeks. We were three and eight, three and five. Now, maybe it's Jimmy's fault. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe it's because Jimmy's trash. <laughs> it's the conundrum, East Bay Chris. Don't you think? I don't know. I think it's a conundrum. Refugio, Refugio Gomez says, I don't think I pronounced that right. Refugio? I like I've never it, seen a name like that before. I don't think it can justify paying a guy like that has just played one year and obstructed by injuries. I get the wide receivers uh, are – uh bridge too far see a comment like this i get it like personally me i don't think they should pay him the 70 million guarantee if he's demanding that or even more 
But on the other side, like if they did overpay, I wouldn't blame them. You have the salary cap. You have Trey Lance. Yeah. It's okay to spurge on your own players because isn't it the point to draft elite players and homegrown talent and keep them <laughs> and keep them? Because who else are you going to replace them with? No one. I'm in favor of paying Debo Samuel. I'm in favor of giving him more targets, but I'm also in favor of using him at running back. I mean, the Niners yeah. were like undefeated when he had like eight, eight or more carries in the game. How do you not do that? Yeah, and I understand from his perspective, maybe it's maybe I don't want to do that long term. All right, well then maybe it's just a maybe you got to get divorced at that point. I don't know. Because with Buckner, it wasn't like the, the Niners were asking Buckner to do anything he didn't want to do. It's not like we were like, you have to play defensive end. And he was like, no, that didn't happen. This mm -hmm. thing with Buck Debo's very strange, very strange. Amtop99 says he said on record that he likes the ball in his hand no matter through the air or on the ground. It's got to be his fourth quarter usage versus the Rams. Maybe. In which case, more power to you, Debo. You should have got the ball. Good factor, man. I was on Debo's side and supported him, but now him acting like a child and requesting a trade because his feelings are hurt. Debo as a running back is way better player than Debo as a wide receiver. Facts. Well, he was leading the league in drops through like the first eight weeks. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what he no, can I do. I think he led the league in drops overall. He was definitely leading him for a while. It'll be interesting to see what he could do with a better uh, quarterback, although I'm not sure he's going to go to a team with a better quarterback. <laughs> Hell of a comment today, man. People are tripping. I feel it, though. Won that wine yeah. bottle. I didn't buy. I didn't bet this with my dad. I bet on Jimmy Garoppolo like an idiot. I should I should have bet on Debo. <laughs> Trade Debo one good year ain't enough, says Miguel Santana. Let's not forget he was injured and came overweight one season. Hill and Adams earned to be paid. So I'll push back on that. That year he came overweight. The dude broke his foot. Like, he broke his foot working out during the pandemic when he couldn't be at the facility. Like that was a weird year. I wouldn't do that. Still gonna ask John the same question, Grant. Yeah. I, well, I'm gonna ask him about Debo. I think. What, 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 how did this happen, John? Hey, Gio says, here's five bucks. Thank you. Feel it. Freddie Mac Dre says, trade Debo for 35, 38, 69, 111. More. There's no way the Niners are trading for Debo. Debo for a package that doesn't include a first round pick or a player who went to a Pro Bowl. There's no way. There's no way. No freaking way. They would, no. Debo is 7,300 says his stock is high. Uh, if don't want to be here, trade him. We don't need the drama. It's Trey's first year as a starter. Let the monster go. We still have Dr. Frankenstein. <clears throat> Okay, I feel you. D Wood, 7,300. I don't know, man. This is scary. The Niners really haven't been able to draft Pro Bowl wide receivers. The last one was Terrell Owens. Kelly Bassett has been saying this for weeks. Make him play out his contract, draft a center. Yeah, man, make him play out his contract. He's not going anywhere. You he, saw he, franchise he, tag, too, options. Yeah. Come on. David Velez says Niners win percentage with Debo plays 65.7%. Niners win percentage when Debo doesn't play 36.3%. The he just wins attribute given to Jimmy G actually belongs to Debo. Pay the man his money. I would have been paid him. I like that one. I would have paid him. But, again, the Niners are trying to say, we want to pay him. We're trying to pay him. He, <clears throat> It's about usage. Victor says, lost us in the NFC Championship, a Super Bowl, and couldn't get the ball down the field, so they moved even to running back, which led to a trade. No way Jimmy is <laughs> – Oh, God. Come on. <laughs> it's Jimmy's fault. It's all Jimmy's fault. Hector Harrow says, here's two bucks. I agree. Let's blame Jimmy. 